Hey Miro. Hey Miro. Hey Miro. Hi there. How are you today? I'm doing fine today. How are you? What are you excited to see at the Festival of Mind? I'm Professor Tony Prescott. I'm leading the Cognitive Robotics Group that's developed the Hey Miro exhibit at the Festival of Mind. What we're exploring is the possibility of robots as an alternative perhaps to animal pets. This is our third time, I think, at the Festival of Mind with Miro, but the first time that Miro has been able to talk. Do you like robots? I love robots, Miro. I love robots too. Robots are the best, right? Do you have a favorite robot? I love waffle robots. Oh my, burger robots sound so fun. You know what day it is today? Yay! I ah. love talking to you all. Today is September 27th, 2024. Wow. Isn't that such a fun day? What do you like to do on a nice September day? It's going great. The general public seems to really like it. It's interesting to see how people, different people view and interact with robots. You can talk to it, obviously that's one of the big parts of it. You can give it sort of vocal commands. You can tell it to dance or spin around, move its ears, uh, sing even. Um, that's one part of it. But we also wanted to explore other avenues in which we can interact with it. So like a dog would, for example, you can give it a sort of a hand gesture and it would respond to that. So say I do this hand gesture and it starts spinning around, or I wave at it and it responds. Um, so we're looking as many ways as possible to make the robot interact with humans and see how people for instinctively react, I'd say. Children love to pet Miro. Uh, older people prefer to kind of like talk to him. Uh, it's also very nice when you can see it dancing and doing some fun tricks. It can also do impressions like Mickey Mouse. Hot diggity dog! Hey everybody, it's me, Mickey Mouse! I thought it was yes, very it was cute. I especially like the little, um, it has like little registered um, cameras so you could do little signs like the peace sign that I can do. We came in just to see what it was like and like I would never expect something like that to be in here in the first place. So yeah, definitely I really liked it. Hi Miro, can you sing my baby a nursery rhyme please? The four numbers go beep beep beep, beep beep beep, beep beep beep. The four numbers go beep beep beep, all through the Look at me go! Yay! I liked Miro when he danced. I asked him to dance and he danced with me. Yeah, we're trying to make the robot more intelligent and more aware of its surroundings and we want to explore whether people see the robot as an aware agent or whether they just see it as a machine. So that's sort of one of the deeper questions we're trying to explore. Originally this project was something I worked on during university and then after I graduated we kind of brought a together a team that can work on it and improve it a bit and my role was mostly working on the speaking aspect of it so um, how it speaks and uh, the way it interacts its personality um, it uses ChatGPT to uh, generate responses based on the prompts that it's given uh, so I've been working on the vision models uh, particularly so doing some uh, object detection uh, gesture recognition or emotion recognition and my role was to create the dancing as well as integrating those behaviors into the existing mirror system I feel like people really appreciate that it looks like a cute small animal so you can really think about it as an animal companion but in a robotic way so this is something that makes it very pleasant appealing and also fun especially when you see it uh, doing some tricks or responding in a funny way to questions. What's your favorite food? Hmm that's a fun question. Well since I'm a robot I don't need food like humans do but if I could eat I think I'd love something sweet like chocolate cake. I think especially like in the sense of it being like kind of shaped as a pet which is a very friendly uh, and inviting thing, it, it probably could be used for keeping people company in the future, comfort and environment for like therapy and whatnot. Because a robot is a physical device, you can interact through it through touch. We're doing research to explore whether robot pets could have some of the benefits in terms of health of animal pets, because having an animal pet can reduce the experience of depression and loneliness 
and actually improve other aspects of, of health as well. So we'd like to know if robots could be a, a suitable substitute.